So let's get started. Uh, we said that uh, when you are doing the basement foundations, we will start by looking for the center lines. Uh, now, uh, and I've said, uh, when you're starting to learn about uh, takeoff, that's when you take you take off uh, uh, finding center lines for every item. Uh, when you get to that item, you find the center line. But now that you have been able to do it, uh, remember the other basement video, we did it step by step. This one is a bit advanced, just slightly advanced, whereby we shall first find the center lines for everything. All the center lines that we require, then we shall be referring to them when we are feeding them in the takeoff sheet when we get to every item. Okay, uh -huh. so how do we go about it? Uh, we will start first with uh, understanding that this is a 4 meters uh, square basement. So what does that mean? That means that uh, the length of the basement is 4 meters and the width is 4 meters. Okay, I go highlighting whatever I'm talking about and you, you just follow uh, by looking at where the color is. Okay, so uh, the internal dimensions is 4 meters, so that is 4,000 millimeters. How do we get uh, the, the length for the spread? You remember we have first to clear the site when we are taking off. So uh, when we are taking or clearing the site, we usually add, we usually consider the foundation spread. If there is uh, something below the walls that is coming out from the walls, for example here, this is what we call the foundation spread. Then there is something that is spreading out of the foundation on the outside. You see this 300 millimeters thick uh, concrete. It is coming from that building, but it is spreading outside the walls by 300. And because we have to do this concrete, we have to clear the site where that concrete is. Then we have to do a trench until we get to that concrete so that we can be able to do that concrete uh, below there. I hope I make that, uh, that point is clear. So that's why we consider this foundation spread. Remember, uh, the foundation spread also uh, because it is it is going wherever that wall will be and where there is a spread. And here we have been given the four meters internal diameter, not diameter, but four thousand uh, internal uh, the square. It's measured internally four thousand. Now we shall add the wall. Uh -huh. You know it's measured from here inside there. Eh? Uh -huh. You can see where the yellow is there from there inside. So we shall have to add the wall. After adding the wall, we add the spread. Good. All this length, we have to, to clear the site. And not only to clear the site, but also to excavate so that we can be able to get to the depth, that uh, the total depth. Then we do the concrete, which has spread 300. But remember that side for the 300, we shall backfill it after we have done the wall. So that point is very important. Kindly, uh, I hope you have got it very well. So uh, we will take the 4,000, which is the internal dimensions. Then we add the wall. The wall, you can see here, it's 490. Uh -huh. Then we add the spread, which is 300. 490 plus 300 is 790. Because it has square, it's both sides times 2, we get 1580. 4000 plus 1580, we shall get 5880. Remember the perimeter of a square, how do we find it? 4 times length. So 4 times 4, 5580. So the total perimeter for site clearance shall be 22, 320. Uh -huh. Now, how do we find the main gun for this outer wall? You see there's a wall here. Okay, let me highlight it in blue. Here, there is an outer wall. Uh -huh. This this is a cavity wall. Basements and uh, other ground water tanks have cavity wall. This blue uh, is a outer wall. And then we have the asphalt. Uh -huh. Let's study this diagram first. Actually, uh, we have the uh, we have this one as the half brick wall, the blue one. Then we have two coats of asphalt here which is 20 millimeters thick, this one, two coats of asphalt. Then here we have uh, 40 millimeters cement and sand 
pressure is to 3 render. Then we have the one and a half brick wall here. Mm -hmm. So, uh -huh. so how do we find the main gut for all this? And remember, even here, we have this uh, trench here, which is 1200 millimeters. So for all these, we shall find the center line. We are starting with this half brick wall on the outside. How do we find the center line? The center line, we take the external dimensions of the half brick wall, then we deduct the number of corners times the thickness of what we want to find the center line for. Okay, the external dimensions. Uh, for, the, for the one with the spread is 22, 320. The outer guard, the outer guard with the spread. Now we want to know uh, if up to here, the outside of the spread here is uh, 22, 320. How do we get first the center line actually for the spread? You know, uh, we shall backfill the wall after we have constructed it. So we shall need the center line for this spread so that we can go round, then we multiply by this 300, then we multiply by the depth to backfill. So how do we find the center line of the spread? We shall just uh, deduct the number of corners, which are four in a rectangle. Then we shall multiply by the thickness of the, of the spread, which is 300. That concept, uh, the difference between what I'm saying and what is here is in my video for finding center lines. I already showed you the simplest way for doing center lines. And kindly go uh, look for that video if you're not conversant and please understand. That is the simplest way. I will not keep on explaining why it's 4 times 2 times a half times the thickness. It's just 4 times the thickness. Okay, all right. All right. So, uh, four corners, then we multiply by the thickness of the spread, which is 300. So, that is 1200. So, uh, the, the outer guard, including the spread, is 22. 320. We deduct 1200. We get 21, 120. So for all the center lines, I will circle using a, a purple, a, let me use a color which is a green pen for all the center lines. Eh? We shall circle using the green pen. Then for the others, we shall use a different pen. So this one is the center line for the for the outer, for the backfill. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, we shall go now to finding the outer face of the wall. To get the outer face of the wall, remember that we have found the center line for the backfill. It's here. So it's here. We have the center line for this backfill. Now we want to come here. I'm pointing in green to get the outer face of the wall. What do we do? To get the center line here, we have deducted 4 times 300. So to get the outer face, we shall, we shall deduct the same. So we shall deduct another 1,200. 1,200. So I go back to my red pen so that you can be able to see. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So uh, we shall deduct another 1,200. So the outer face of the wall is 19. 920. So this one I will circle in red. It's the outer face of the wall. This one is not the center line. It's just the outer face of the wall. Good. Uh, now we want to find the mean guard of the wall on the outside, which is 102.5. So what do we do? We take the external dimensions of the uh, outer wall, which is uh, 19, 920. Then we deduct four corners times the thickness of that wall is 102.5. So we deduct four times 102.5, which is 14. We get uh, 19, 510. So 19, 510 is the main guard on the, of the wall on the outside. So for main guard, we circle in green. That's a main guard. All right. Then uh, we shall find, we shall deduct the same uh, for 10 to get to the outer 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 face of that outer wall inner face of the wall because this is the uh, remember the blue wall is the outer wall half brick wall to get to uh, the inner surface of that wall we shall deduct another for 20 so we shall get a uh, 19 100 so we shall circle in it in red to mean that this one is just an it an 19,100 is the inner face of that half brick wall. 
All right, now we want to know uh, for the asphalt. Asphalt, we shall not uh, deduct. You remember, here we have uh, four, we have 20 millimeters, 20 millimeters, uh, two coats asphalt. 20 millimeters, two coats asphalt. For the asphalt, we shall find the length after the asphalt. We will not find the center line for the asphalt. We will find the length, uh, the inner surface, the length of the inner surface of the asphalt. So this one, we shall multiply uh, for the number of corners times the thickness of the asphalt. Then we shall multiply by two. This one, uh, it shall not, if we remember the other ones we do, number of corners times the thickness. For the asphalt and for the render, because they are very thin layers, they are not usually calculated as volumes, they are calculated as areas. We usually take the length of the surface, then we multiply by uh, whatever we shall require, maybe the height, the depth of the wall. So we shall take the length on the surface of the asphalt. So from the uh, inner surface of the wall, of the half brick wall, we shall deduct four corners times uh, 20 millimeters uh, for the asphalt. We multiply by 2. Okay, we shall get um, 4 times 2, 8 times 20, 160. So after we deduct 160, we shall get the, the inner surface of the asphalt, the length of the inner surface of the asphalt. Same to the render. We shall check number of corners, 4. We multiply by 40, we multiply by 2 to get the, the length of the inner surface of the Render because they are very thin layers, so we don't find the center line. So uh, then we shall go to the uh, center line now of the one and a half brick wall, the inner wall, which is big. The other one was half brick wall. This one is one and a half brick wall. So uh, how do we find the center line? We shall take the external dimensions, which is the uh, length of the inner surface of the render. Then we shall deduct four times uh, the thickness of the wall. Uh, we show we shall deduct 4 times 327 and a half. We get 13, 10. So this one, the answer we shall get is the center line. Uh -huh. This one is the center line for the inner wall. Uh -huh. Then if we deduct the same 13, 10, we shall get now the, the internal length of the of the square basement here the internal length of the square basement which, which we shall circle in red so everything we have circled in red is the internal length or the outer face of uh, of these layers uh what we have circled in green is the main guard of certain walls then we remember we have the trench here the trench at the bottom here. How do we find the center line for that trench? We shall take the uh, outer guard after considering the spread, uh -huh, which is 300. You see the trench is 1200 millimeters. So we shall take, let me highlight, we shall take uh, uh, the outer guard up to here, up to where the foundation uh, is ending. You know, we are finding the center line for this blue part. This foundation that I'm shading in blue. Uh huh. How do we find the center line for this one? So we take uh, up to where it's ending. Uh, the outer guard was 23, 22, 320. Here up. Uh huh. So we put it 22, 320. Then we deduct uh, four corners times the thickness of the trench, which is 1200. We get 4800. So once we deduct, this is the center line of the trench. The trench which is shaded in blue. So now that we have all the center lines, we can be able to take off comfortably. We shall just be referring from those center lines when we are taking off. So let's get started.